Got him. He fell. <clears throat> Dang. I held too high on the first shot. I didn't know. I thought he was just, just right around, right almost 50, but in reality, he was only about 40. And uh, the first shot I held, you know, had a little, little bit over the head. Shot right over his head. So the second shot, he wasn't facing me no more. So I said, well, I'm just going to aim right for the lungs. I shot. All right, so, so far this morning, I've seen quite a bit of squirrels. We're going to go down. We're going to grab him, and I'm going to sneak right over on that point. We're going to set right on the point. Stay tuned. That's a good way to start the morning. I've been out here for two hours now. I've just been sneaking around. Finally got that one to set still, and we got a shot off. Stay All right, yeah, we definitely lung shot him, okay? Shot him there. He fell, and I've tracked blood from here to here to here. He's bleeding good. All the way into this. You guys can probably see there's blood right there. So he's in this little tree. I'm going to take a stick and do not do this at home. I'm going to do it because I'm an idiot. Shove a stick up in there. He's not going to stay alive much longer. I mean, there's blood everywhere. I knew I lung shot him. That's right where I aimed the second shot. So I'm going to keep doing this. And I'll get back at you guys in a minute. All right, y'all. He come out of that little tree. Poked him, poked him, poked him, poked him. Pulled the stick out, waited. I heard him coming. Literally, as soon as I grabbed that gun, I can't shoot setting right there because of ricochet. So I literally had to sit there and watch his head. And then he takes off, he goes this way and he runs up this tree. I'm just about to drill him. He goes right up in another hole. And I tell you now, there ain't no way you're getting him out of this one. I can beat, beat, and beat, but he's not coming out of this tree. That little one, that thing's tiny. I knew he'd come out of it, but he got in this one. Um, I couldn't see the hit, but I'm guessing it's, it must not be long. He'd have bled out in that tree. He's bleeding a lot. There goes another one. Um, dang it, man. It really sucks, but what are you going to do? You know, bad shooting on my part, it's not the gun. You know, heck, I just busted a bunch of squirrels yesterday with it, but mad, bad shooting on my part. I tried what I could, you know. It just wasn't very safe on my shot, so I never took the shot when he'd come out that tree because way too dangerous. So we just let him go, and then when he got up this tree, I said, oh, he has nowhere to go. I thought he was just going to run up there and set. He knew where he was going. He went right to this tree. He could live. It could be a lower lung maybe, but I'm thinking I smoked his lungs. Anyways, we're just going to move around the bank. We're going to set down. I just saw one come out where I was planning on setting after we got this one because I thought this one was history. Apparently, I know I said it wasn't a gun, but it is. There's two black dots on this gun. Hang on, I'll show you. Two bolts here, here. When I first bought this gun, I noticed that they were loose. When they're loose, I can move my barrel side to side. Tighten them down and didn't do it. The other day, like I said, I sighted this gun in. Kill shot all day long. I went with that happened to that squirrel just now. I said, I'm going to shoot at a knot on a tree. Shot at a knot on a tree, missed. High right, shoot again, same hole, high right. I break it down at an angle that time. I shoot clear to the left, shoot again, clear to the left. And then like the next one, would, so when I break it down, literally I can take this barrel, move the whole barrel side to side. We're going back, tighten it down. 
There are squirrels right now. There's three of them in one tree that was less than 20 yards from me. I didn't want to shoot because I don't, you know what I mean? I just wounded one. You know, like, nah. So we just, we're going to go back and put a target up. I'm going to tighten these down to where if they break, I'm sending this gun back to Walmart and getting another one because they're good guns. That's just the shitty part about them. Because it did it to me twice and now, because of that, I wounded a squirrel. So that pisses me off even more because I can't get that squirrel out the tree. So, we're going back. I might have enough ammo to come back. If not, I guess I'll haul at you guys later. You know, or something. But that's enough talking. This video is getting long anyway. I'm going to try to recite and we'll get back out. Alright, here we are, we're in position. That's the tree that they all been running up and down on. Like I said, we got this gun. I love the gun, man, I do. It's just, them bolts are the only trouble I've had out of the gun. But, uh, we're probably 25 yards from it. Got plenty of cover. I've seen two down in the bottom bottom. Messing around looking for food. None of them up in this ridge top. We're gonna sit here for about an hour and a half, two hours probably. There's one coming down the tree down there. Let's sit here real quiet and hopefully one comes up this tree and we can get it on film for you guys. You know, just enjoying a beautiful day. Look at that, just so beautiful out right now. But I'm gonna sit down and, you know, we're gonna get to, get to put meat in the freezer with this old bad boy here. Got him. I knew it. I'm just shooting too fast. Right here, right here, right here, right here. One down here to my left. Right here, right here. Just don't move. I'm over here talking to myself. Turn you guys on when another one gives me a shot. Yep. All right, gotta watch him. Gotta watch him. Yeah. 
he went down. <clears throat> but <clears throat> gotta watch. So number two, guys, I should have killed all four of them squirrels. <clears throat> I was shooting too fast. I'm not gonna move, we're just gonna sit right here. I got him marked. One there, one at the bottom of the tree. <clears throat> but by far, I should have killed all four. I was shooting way too fast. I need to take my time. I just not shot that squirrel <clears throat> up here. <clears throat> and I'm telling you guys, I've tracked blood. It's smeared all over that tree, clear down through here. But once I got about right here, I lost blood. I can't find none. I get to looking. Well, the squirrel's right here. He's just sitting in the, sticking halfway into the tree. But it looks like he's still alive. Um, definitely not reaching in there, but if I can can, Try to figure out a way to get him out without touching him. Because he's definitely still alive. He's got blood all over him. I mean, all right, this is nuts, okay? Um, we did retrieve the one squirrel, right? He's right here. We got him. I double lunged that squirrel how, how he made it to where he made it. He died, literally, while he was in the hole. I was getting sticks. I was trying to figure out how to get him out. As soon as I popped him out, he was done. That was nerves when his feet was twitching. That was just nerves. I got him out. He's laying here. As you guys can see, maybe, he's double lung. And the second one that we just shot, there's blood right here. Everywhere. No squirrel, though. But this is weird. I sat after the shot for 10 seconds. 10 minutes, 10 seconds. And I come up through here and I'm saying, oh, you know, maybe he was here, but then I get to looking. I'm like, nah, he's up the hill. I look, this this episode's gonna be long, but it's cool because we we're getting meat in the freezer. Um I look and there's a squirrel right here. I'm 50, 55, 60% sure that is not the squirrel that I just shot. That squirrel is technically froze, but it's got a hole in it. Right in the lungs. Or right in the gut. I, he's not really froze, but he's stiff. And it's like, it's like I just shot him. This squirrel right here, it's like I just shot him. The blood's still wet and everything but he's this one's loose as can be okay so what I'm thinking is that squirrel died on impact that squirrel just died as I was getting sticks or whatever and that's why his body is movable and not froze and that one's froze because like I said I gave it 10 minutes but I want to make sure so as you guys can see the amount of blood that these pellets spill out is, is crazy i couldn't show you guys the other trail when when i trailed him because like i said it was it was bad there was just blood everywhere but i'm gonna walk up and down this bank looking for blood and if i don't find none i'm gonna have to say that that was him yeah look okay here's blood right here look oh never mind it's water huh we're just gonna keep searching. I wanna make sure it's the right squirrel. Even if it is one from yesterday, it was cold enough. He'll still, his meat would still be good, I'm pretty sure. It's been cold enough, so. But I wanted to say it's the same one. Um, we're gonna look, 
make a good search and look. And uh, if I happen to find more blood scattered on out, then I know it ain't because I know exactly where he's laying. He found him right here. So, well, all right, there's gonna do it. Um, wow, these squirrels really put us to the test this morning. Um, for all bad shots and stuff on squirrels, I take it all to my fault. The first two was really my gun. Looks like my camera lens was break broke, but it ain't. The first one was my gun, the one that we wounded, and I'll be 100% honest, I wounded the squirrel. I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, we missed, and try to lie, we did, I wounded him. Uh, did what I could, I got him out of the first hole safely. I was not reaching my hand in there. Don't ever, I don't care. You know, you're better off to leave the squirrel alone. I've already been bit before, doing stuff like that, never again. So, my advice is if a squirrel gets in a hole on you, leave him. Try to bang, like bang on the tree, you know, if it's a safe tree, it ain't broken or dead in the top. Go ahead and bang on it with a stick or something. Try to make a bunch of noise to get him out. But don't do like I did. I, I shoved a stick and stuff in there, but you can really get hurt doing that. I'm just an idiot, I guess. So I did that, and he come out eventually. Um, I mean, right next to my face, you know. He could have jumped on me if he wanted. But uh, just luckily I got back fast enough and he took off. He ran up into the next tree. He went down into the other tree. And I knew at that point we weren't getting him out. And I'm shooting a Ruger Impact 22 caliber. I have a penny sight, something like that. It's just a real cheap scope picked up back in the day. So I knew, I said, man, I better shoot this gun. Because the shot that we took this morning wasn't bad. You know, it was right at the peak range that the gun was sighted in for. I knew it was. I shot over his head the first shot because he dug. The second shot had a perfect vital shot of something right in the heart. Shot. Heard the pellet connect. He falls. And then, you know, the rest was, you guys saw, he got away. So we went home. Or when I break the gun down again, I move my barrel. And I see that this whole piece is loose. And it did it to me when I first bought the gun. So I took an Allen wrench and I cranked it back tight again. Took it home, shot it twice, cut the same hole, moved the sights. I'd say 10 shots later, um, got it hit in hole for hole, right around 40 yards, something like that, 35, 40 yards. I said, perfect for squirrels. We come back in, <clears throat> did the same thing. We snuck down to Point Ridge, got in this log. We sat here for two hours at least, not really, but we sat here for like an hour. I watched him in his bottom for a long time. I said, you know what, I need to get closer. So I got right up on the ridge line. I said, if they come back up the valley and they try to run up these trees, I can shoot. Well, one does, a big male or female, she comes right up to the left, they go up the tree, chasing each other, and I'm about to shoot one. And I look and there's four of them in their line and they're coming right to me. And I'm pretty sure the GoPro caught right about the time that I was about to crack the first one. They come straight up, 20 yards probably, um, I didn't hold low, none of that. Held on his head, pow, I pulled the trigger. I was like, oh, no, and I reload, pow, I pull the trigger again, and I'm like, dude, I gotta squeeze this trigger. And then this one here runs straight up and he sets perfectly on the limb. And I just squeeze it on his head and I just squeeze the trigger, pop. And I'm not lying, I was, I was aiming right on his head, we're about in the neck area. I hear it connect, I hear him fall, and I can hear him, you know, kicking in the leaves, and I was like, got him. And then uh, this one runs to the left, and he starts running out this direction, you know, on out the ridge. And I'm like, uh-oh, i got to get on him. Pulled up on him. Bow, and I hear it hit him. See him fall, and he never moved. I didn't see him move at all. I was watching. I saw one go way down to that bottom, but that was it. So at this point, okay, we got two squirrels down. I gave it a solid 10 minutes, got up, snuck down to the first one. Like I said, it was blood everywhere. YouTube ain't gonna like all that. So I just didn't show you guys the blood trail. It was, it was bad. Um, so I knew he wasn't gonna go far. I just happened to walk to the end of the point and there he was in a tree. Thought he was alive. Took a stick, nudged him out of the hole. And so, with that, I hope you all enjoyed. That's four squirrels in two days, one wounded. He did get away. So there's five we shot, two or four found. And 
like I said, if you guys are interested in this rifle, you can pick them up at your Walmart, not sure how much. Uh, it's a Ruger Impact Max Elite. I shoot 14.3 grain Crossman Premiers. It's the, uh, what you call it, the round, not the hollow point, but the pointed nose, super point, or something like that is what they're called. I shoot them because it's getting more penetration on animals due to the fact that I hunt with it. And your gun, you can buy the same gun, like I said in my review, and it can shoot totally different but um as of me i got lucky found the right bullets that's for it and it's hole for hole and i tighten these down knock on wood these should not move again they shouldn't move again i mean i tighten it i'm not sure if it's safe to tighten it like that but i did now there is a squirrel still he's just sitting up in there and uh, he went to a hole i couldn't get on him quick enough but if you guys did like it you know go ahead and hit that thumbs up and if you want subscribe and tell your friends about it you know and like i say i encourage everyone to get outdoors and enjoy the outdoor life and get away from technology and stuff you know gaming i'm a big gamer but boy there's nothing more than i love than hunting i love it and we will be back soon and hopefully tonight we do just as good i'm still allowed four more for my limit so hopefully we can get it done tonight so stay tuned Make sure y'all come back on next.